In this example, I'm going to show you how to cite a digital image. I keep my website side by side so that it's easier for me to copy and paste the information. So because it's a digital image, I'm going to click on all 59 options and then I'm going to select digital image, which is usually under the most popular. So now when I'm in digital image, I need the title. So the title is the title of the image. So when I scroll down here under the image, I see the title of this image is Honu. So I'm going to type in Honu here. Um, and the description is used if there's no official title. Um, the contributor is the author. That is actually, the in this case, the person who took the picture. So that is Steve Jervitson. I don't know if I'm doing that justice, but I'm just going to copy and paste it to make sure that I'm spelling it correctly, the last name. Okay, and then the website title. The website title is actually Flickr here. So I'm going to type in Flickr. The publisher, you can usually find this information at the very bottom of the page, and it's often next to a copyright. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and you'll see here that... Um, Flickr is a Yahoo company, so the publisher is actually Yahoo. The URL is the URL of the picture, so it's small because I shrunk my screen here, but I if I pulled it out just so you could see it, here is the actual URL of the, the um, where the image is located, so I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it here. For this example, you're going to say yes to include the URL because your teacher wants to make sure you're accessing images properly. And then I'm going to look for the date that it's electro electronically published. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to see if I can find that information. And actually, I'm going to pull this out a little bit wider because I want to see it. Okay, so it was taken on November 24th, 2006. That's the date I see, so that's the date I'm going to use. So the day was the 24th of November, 2006. I'm accessing it today, so I'm just going to click on today. And then I'm going to choose Create Citation. And what you'll see is that EasyBib has automatically created this citation for me. What's nice is since I created my project here, if I click on, if you leave EasyBib because you haven't found all your images in one day, and you click on My Projects, and you click back over into Bibliography under your Social Studies images, you'll see that that citation is saved. So you can actually leave EasyBib and come back. So that's how you create your citation for your digital image.